The three-day G20 Development Ministers meeting has kicked off in Varanasi and in fact the delegates also took part in the Ganga Aarti ritual as they experienced the culture of Varanasi with External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar. In fact, agricultural scientists from Brazil, Germany, Japan, Indonesia, China were all in Varanasi to prepare a new roadmap for the development of global agriculture in 20 developing countries, including India. So, development ministers from all over the world are currently in Varanasi. I'm being joined by my colleague Maha Siddiqui on the phone line. Maha, uh, what is the significance of uh, this particular meeting? Of course, around the year, several G20 meetings have been planned. But also, what's an agenda as far as the development ministers meeting is concerned? Uh, primarily be divided into two main sessions. One will deal with multilateralism and this will look at uh, uh, the actions that are needed towards the sustainable development goals. And the other half will also be on green development. Remember, India has coined the sacrum of life, which is lifestyle for environment approach. That will also be discussed. The whole idea of the development minister's meeting is to be able uh, to look at ways to arrest the impact of climate change, of growing poverty, inequality, uh, as well as food and energy uh, insecurity that we have seen around the world, the uh, disruption in global supply chains as well. All this will come under the ambit of the development minister's uh, meeting. Uh, more important uh, is also the fact from India's perspective is that uh, if you remember India had held, held the uh, Global South Summit and it had said that it will in its G20 presidency channel uh, the views of the Global South that does not find a place on these powerful platforms and take them to the G20 platform. So uh, to the development minister's meeting will also uh, channel this uh, the voice of the Global South and uh, those aspects will also be discussed because they are intrinsically linked to the sustainable development goals, uh, uh, considering that a vast uh, a majority of the vulnerable population of the world living in developing countries and uh, the poorer countries is what is hit largely by uh, poverty, inequality, and also the impact of climate change will be felt most by these countries. So. That voice will be channeled through the development minister's meeting today and the decisions here will uh, go forward not just in G20 but also at the level of UN on their sustainable development goals. So it's a very significant meeting in that context. Right, Maha, thanks so much for that update. So as Maha was pointing out, the goals of the Global South really at the core of this development minister's meeting currently underway in Varanasi.